Hello, fabulous superstar Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month. What an amazing month it is. And that is largely because of eclipse season. We are going to have an extended eclipse season that begins June 5th and will take us right into July when in early July we are going to have an eclipse in your sign. Normally eclipse season is two weeks. This time we get a month and it is you that culminates this very powerful time. But when we look at the month of June, I want you to consider it in light of that upcoming lunar eclipse in your sign because that lunar eclipse next month is going to be stand out it is going to be a turning point for you a new sense of self is going to emerge but it is this month where the sky sets the stage and before the month is even over emotions are going to be stirring for you as you come to understand where it is that you are ready to transform in meaningful ways so let's start with the first eclipse this month right around the fifth is when we will have a lunar eclipse in the sign just before yours this is a part of the sky that has to do with closing karmic ties ending karmic chapters knowing what it is that has served its purpose in your life and creating space for the new and the next it is also connected to the things that you are not aware of well with a sky like this you may become aware very quickly there is so much restless energy within you maybe even a quiet frustration that you can't quite put your finger on now regardless of how this energy is playing out what i would say is surrender to it let your dreams work it out because a lot is working out in the energetic space now you add to this yes it may be the case that you become aware where it was that you weren't it is retrograde Venus opposite this lunar eclipse playing out in a part of the sky that has to do with your daily life that suggests some of this may be connected to your work, whether it's the work you're doing, your coworkers, your immediate supervisors. It may be something you learn about them or through them that is part of what is made aware to you now. But regardless ultimately what this energy says is that you may need more rest than usual and yet rest may be hard to come by but this is ultimately preparation because it is going to be next month that along with a sense of closure with the lunar eclipse you will also have bold new beginnings that start before this month is even over let's navigate to the next eclipse the solar eclipse that takes place on the summer solstice on the 21st of june this solar eclipse is the last of a series of eclipses or it begins the last of a series of eclipses for the last two years you've had eclipses in your opposite sign and in your sign as well so here we are we are approaching the very last of it this is where the changes really start to come together and with a solar eclipse in your opposite sign, this is about new people coming in that you can align with, that you can partner with in meaningful ways. For some, this is going to be new business partnerships and professional alliances, feeling a sense of fresh starts with those alliances that are already there. But for others still, this is going to be related to love in powerful ways. And again, it is fresh chapters all around. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new in the context of love, well, this solar eclipse is one of the high points of this year to connect with someone in a meaningful way. Because this solar eclipse is happening at the very beginning of its respective sign, it truly means that it is a beginning, the very beginning, the seed, if you will. But the fact that just days before this solar eclipse, Mercury will go retrograde in the same part of the sky. Well, it does tell me that it is possible that in some way, this is a person who is connected to uh, what has been before in the context of love. Venus will go direct shortly after 
this solar eclipse as well so technically stationary technically retrograde around the solar eclipse which again affirms that there may be some connection to your past with some new opportunity in love that shows up for you for those of you who are just starting to date somebody i think that this solar eclipse can be very powerful it helps you to see this person more clearly it helps you to feel a sense of a new beginning it's almost like you're looking at them again with that mercury retrograde now do keep in mind that breakups that happen with mercury retrograde in your opposite sign tend to not stay broken up so if you feel like your new beginning is in a whole other direction that's fine trust yourself but just know that it may not necessarily be your final answer considering the sky around this solar eclipse and yet this does present a chance to be redefined in some way a chance to understand differently so that you feel that sense of a fresh start together and for those of you in an established bond that sense of a fresh new beginning the fresh start promised here that is especially strong with the solar eclipse it is as if you are seeing yourself your role within the partnership differently than you have before it may involve visiting a previous situation and it is that that gets fresh eyes from you however it comes about it allows you and your partner to feel as if you are on a new more empowered more illuminated path together what i love about this month for you well look in addition to all the things i mentioned you know how i said the month is going to end so empowered it is jupiter meeting pluto in the sky in your sign this is the second of three meetings that these planets are going to have this year this is powerfully transformative this is energy that can feel as if you are ready to change your life you're ready to just burn to the ground what no longer works and you're ready to go in a whole other direction even if you don't know what that looks like just yet you are making a choice you are feeling things very strongly they are very much on the surface but they are part of some more meaningful transformation that is in the works for you now it is going to be next month that a powerful and defining closure is going to take place but before the month is out you are setting the stage stay in touch with your truth your emotional truth because that ultimately will point the way to your power well thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy